Welcome to the Wasteland News Network. Today is November 24th, 2020, and we are in the process of getting the Steel Dawn update one week early. So here are the patch notes. They just released them. Okay, in addition to Steel Dawn and Shelters, there are a lot of changes with this update. First of all, they've removed all the negative effects for hunger and thirst. Instead, you receive buffs that increase with how healthy you are and your character. So really, you don't have to worry about food and water anymore at all. Uh, I wasn't sure if that actually was going to go forward, but it did. Uh, again, the Steel Dawn quest line. Uh, new arrivals uh, have appeared in the uh, Appalachia, and the Brotherhood is now at Atlas Observatory. Please note, you can now fast travel to Fort Atlas for free, but if you discovered it as Atlas Observatory, you have to go there again and revisit the area to discover Fort Atlas, and that map marker will change. So there's that. I'm just quickly going over these. There's also going to be new rewards in daily ops. The Crusader Pistol, the Plasma Cutter, Hellstorm Missile Launcher, and the Brotherhood uh, Recon Armor. And those will be plans. And you can go to regs at Vault 79 uh, to buy the mods. Again, uh, Camp Shelters, that brief quest called Home Expansion, uh, you'll be able to do that up at Vault 51. Now today, because of the release date being a week early, only the utility room will be available today. That's the small uh, cement slab with the door, the very small utility room. The lobby and atrium uh, will arrive at a later date. So only the utility room today. And for those of us who buy a lot of items in the Atomic Shop, if you only purchase, say, one item out of a particular bundle and then you change your mind and want to buy the rest, they have lowered the prices and it will adjust according to how many of the items you have purchased previously. In addition to all the new Atomic Shop things, there's something called Backpack Flare. They're basically little keychains for your backpacks. Uh, they've added the slots in the backpacks. You can add it, but the flares themselves will not be available yet. They will appear at a later date. Again, backpack flare will appear at a later date. There are new items, rewards for daily ops, the recon armor, the crusader pistol, and so on. Also, we can say goodbye to duplicate plans, especially and specifically the non-tradable plan. So if you've received the Warglaive plan, you've learned it, uh, you will not receive it again. So you have that option to receive a different rare plan instead of something you cannot drop or trade again. So that is good news. And you no longer need to worry about hunger and thirst mechanics. Uh, they have gone away. Uh, basically, you can be right down to the negative effects for hunger and thirst. You don't need to eat or drink anymore unless you want the buffs for eating and drinking certain foods and liquids. So no need to feed and water your characters. Uh, power armor players' posteriors are now properly protective, protected while wearing the Enclave power armor. So they got their uh, diaper thingy removed. That was kind of funny. Uh, exploits. Traps now have a minimum distance that they can be placed from other traps. And blueprints containing traps that are stacked on top of each other can no longer be placed. Two exploits. Addressed a camp budget exploit related to wires and addressed an item exploit related to collectron stations. And also a few improvements for VATS, greatly improved accuracy of chance to hit percentages, hits that successfully strike the target now deal damage correctly, and uh, let's see, continuing to fire flamers or cryolators after closing your VATS no longer stops those weapons from damaging enemies. Uh, that's a huge improvement right there. And for you armor collectors, both sturdy and heavy metal left leg armors, I know they've been missing for a long time, they will now drop as legendary items. They are no longer what they considered legacy. Uh, the Gauss shotgun can no longer spawn with the explosive legendary effect. 
That's the Gauss shotgun. Uh, heavy weapons. Let's see. The cryolator now correctly deals cryo damage, and the flamer correctly deals fire damage. So how that will affect explosive, I've seen some videos back and forth. Can hardly wait to test that. Uh, the refrigerated backpack mode uh, that reduces uh, food spoilage is now 50% instead of 10%. And for those of you that have the mutations, either carnivore or herbivore, there are a variety of new foods that now count as either meat or plant-based foods. And there's a brief list there of some of the new items. And they fixed an issue causing Nerd Rage to grant its damage bonus while above 20% health. So that has been fixed. So that will work correctly. And there you have a selection of highlights for the patch notes for the Steel Dawn update. I have lost track of what number we are at right now. Uh, hopefully by 10 o'clock tonight, we'll all be playing either Steel Dawn or the shelters or trying out for some of those new plans that are in the new daily ops. So thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you out in the wasteland.